Hungary's board of directors decided in February 2011 that Hungary can organize the 16th Fin Swimming World Championship, place with Mezővásárhely, Southern Hungary. The second Khmer's World Games, including the Fin Swimming World Championship, were to be held in Nevia and the Isle of San Andreas in Colombia. As contractual obligations weren't met by the host country, the games were cancelled by Khmer's. It became open again to apply for organizing the World Championships. The Hungarian Divers Federation handed in its application for the fin swimming discipline and this time, after the 2009 unsuccessful try, it won the possibility of hosting the World Championship. Well, we got the possibility in February and we had uh, five and a half months to prepare for this World Championship. We put together an organizing committee of 18 people. We got about 180 people, judges, uh, volunteers and all other organizers and I think that uh, by by this time at the beginning of the championship we managed to put uh, everything so much together that we hope that there will be a successful championship and everybody would be happy. Hudmezuvasarhe lies in the southeastern part of the Hungarian Great Plain. It is situated about 180 kilometers from Budapest, the capital city of the country. Cultural roots and traditions of Hudmezuvasarhe are well known. The town of 48,000 inhabitants has the second largest administrative area and it is significant educational, economic, cultural and art center of the region. The center of the city, Kossuth Square, was converted into a park so it is a favorite relaxation spot. This square gave the perfect setting for the World Championship opening ceremony. Dr. Janusz Lazar, mayor of Hood Mezővásárhely and member of the parliament, Achille Ferrero, the president of World Underwater Federation, Dr. Ivan Nyiri, president of the Hungarian Divers Federation, vice president of BAS, Mr. Alessandro Cerbi, secretary general of KMAS, and Dr. Georg Gimesi, president of the National Sport Association, vice president of the Hungarian Olympic Committee, were the guests of honor and speakers of the event. The visual part of the opening was followed by a reception of Mayor Dr. Lazar for the team leaders at the town hall. The politically disturbed and civil war torn Libya had a participating team as well. They had all their activities under the traditional Libyan tricolor flag. They were the guests of the organizing federation. The main reason we are here now is to show uh, the real world what Libya is. We, we came here in peace. We, we want sport. We want freedom. We want uh, the freedom of speech. That's what we want. Right on the first day of the competition, a world record was broken by the 24-year-old Chinese star Liu Xiao. This way, she is the fastest swimmer on 400 meters fin swimming, as she has beaten the earlier world record, which was set at St. Petersburg in 2009 by the Russian swimmer Vasilya Kravchuk with 3 minutes 13.65 seconds. Liu's time in the finals was 3 minutes 12.9 seconds. I feel very happy because I won gold medal. I think Hungary is a very beautiful country and it is a very nice city. It was very hard to win this gold. I had to train and race really hard for this. The 24 year old Chinese athlete was a swimmer eight years ago before she started using the fins. And as her coach proudly said, she trains very hard every day. No, I can't think of anything else, but of that I am very happy with her champion. Liu won another event, the 800 meter fence swimming. Public didn't have to wait long for another world record. After Liu's record, the next one was the men's 4x200 meter service relay. The Italian team won the gold medal with a new world record. Team members were Cesare Fumarola, Andrea Nava, Julio Tugnoli, and the swimming legend Stefano Figini. The previous record was held by the Italian national team as well, and it was set also in Hungary in 2008 in Eger, improved by four seconds at Hudmezővásárhely. I want to try this uh, distance, but the uh, program is not uh, the best. I can, I, probably I can uh, win uh, with easy 400, but uh, I can concentrate in uh, 800 uh, the day after. I think that uh, you you be 
a good athlete also when uh, you're young and uh, but uh, at uh, 20 20 22 years uh, you you are ready to to do a good race uh, you, you you begin a good athlete uh, when you do um, many races and you you can uh, ready you can be ready for all there were two other world champions celebrated on the first day and the women's 50 meter apnea Zhu Baojian won before the French Camille Heights and the Russian Anna Bear. The Russian Pavel Kabanyov was the one who could stand on the top of the podium in the men's 100 meter diving. Kim Taekyung from South Korea was a silver medalist and Mauricio Fernandez from Colombia won the bronze medal with a new American record. The second day began with an exciting morning because of the men's 800 meter immersion was a direct final the best time in the three heats won. Cheng Chi from China won this event. The Hungarian Dinesh Konyo was a second, and the third was also a Hungarian Szilard Wilhelm. In the men's 50 meter surface event, the Russian Pavel Kabanyov was the first to touch the end of the pool before the Colombian Maurizio Fernandez and the Italian Cesare Fumarola. I was training for it, I was expecting it. I did everything in my life just to become a world champion and I'm very glad for it to happen. In my opinion, the most important thing is training and of course that will succeed and that made me win a gold medal. I think the only reason to be on top is the will of a sportsman to win the goals, to set the goals and to do everything to achieve them. First of all, I want to thank for my coach. Adrenaline gives me strength to reach limits and it helps me to be victorious. Without it, you won't achieve anything. Uh, it feels great. Uh, I have been living in Europe uh, since uh, January. So I think I have been done a great work uh, with my trainer, you know. So I am just really, really happy. Sometimes uh, training is not enough. Uh, sometimes uh, there are a lot of conditions. Uh, there are a lot of things that that you have to think about when you go to a competition. So it's not only if you're local, if you have to travel. There's a lot of things. I have been swimming with all my, all my strength. I have been swimming with all I had. So I am just happy of the, of the achievement. Then, Kabanyov's fellow countryman, Alexander Ivonets, came in as a winner, who harvested a gold medal in 50 meter Biffin with a new world record of 19.35 seconds. The former record holder Andre Broda from the Czech Republic was a silver medalist this time, while Maja Senes from Hungary won the bronze. The next event was the men's 1,500 meter surface fence swimming. Stefano Figini, the actual world champion and the already world record holder in the 4x200 relay, won the silver medal, and the Ukrainian Alexander Odinokov was the one who could step on the top of the podium, while the Russian Alexei Shafigulin finished in the third place. The Russians cashed in victory in the women's 200 meter surface fence swimming as well. Valeria Baranovskaya won the gold medal, Vasilya Kravchuk was the third, both from Russia. The silver medalist was Akram Yeon from South Korea. Then the host country had reason to strongly celebrate. The junior European champion Petra Shenansky beat her just two weeks old world record in 200 meter Biffin, ahead of the Russian Medaya Zavakishili and the also Hungarian Lila Stier. No, every of my dreams came true. I think this is my best year ever. It's going to be difficult to surpass it because in the Junior European Championship I won. I set up a new world record and we came to this competition with the goal to give everything I have left and we will see for what is enough. But it looked like I managed to improve my time and I could keep my top condition. Shemansky's world record was soon followed by the sixth world record broken. Max Lausius set up the new record in 400 meter surface fence swimming. The former record holder Stefano Figini this time got a silver medal and the Russian Yevgeny Smirnov got a bronze. At the last turn at 350 I saw that I was very close before Stefano Figini so <laughs> I uh, mobilized or I swam everything I could 
the last 50 and then I <laughs> I finished the race, watch at the board and at the first moment I couldn't believe it, Wo world record, so it was unexpected for everyone, for me too, so I can't believe it until now, really. On the third day of the championship, five more world champions were inaugurated in ladies' 800m fin swimming, in 100m immersion, in men's 100m biffin and fin swimming, as well as in 400m immersion. Huan Sao Xu from China was the one who won the 100m immersion, closely followed by Bao Zhen Zhu from China as well, and the third place was taken by Margarita Artyoshenko from Russia. The following was the order for the men's 100m fin swimming, Kabanyov, Nava and Fumarola. In 100 meter Biffin, Ivanets won the gold medal and he set a new world record. Rampadze was the second and Gavrilov was the third. The result was expected because I was preparing 100 and 200 meters distances, but the 50 meter distance was a bit different. I didn't prepare that much, but anyway the result was quite expected. I was working very much and this year was sure the best for me. I was winning all the competitions through the whole year, so this is why I think I could expect it. So this is the secret, just train? You should train, train and train again. In 400 meters immersion, the host country had a reason to celebrate. Their multiple title holder, Danish Konyo, won the race with a new world record and a 15-minute disqualification for jumping out of the pool through the start stone. Based on Kmas Rowe's governing fin swimming championships, his team leader presented a successful protest that was accepted and honored by the chief judge and the president of the fin swimming commission. Finally, Konyo was rightly awarded the gold medal and the world champion's title. There was uh, a long uh, 20 minutes, but uh, after, after the race, that seems I uh, has been disqualified and after I, I uh, get the news that I, I take the gold medal really and, and my uh, world record is, uh, is uh, alive, so I was really happy. Kabanyov was the first who won a gold medal at the second day of August in 50 meter at Nia with a world record, followed by two Koreans, Lee and Kim. Then came the other ace of the championship, Fijini from Italy, and he won the men's 800 meter surface fin swimming event with another world record. The Ukrainian Ojinokov could stand only on the second step of the podium, and the German Lauschus was the third. In the women's 100 meter surface fin swimming, the order was Artyushenko, Heitz, and Young, while in Biffin, Vitalina Simonova, who has set yet another world record in the heats, winning the event with the already 13th world record. Second was Zabakishili, the third was Shanansky. In the women's 400 meter immersion, Liu was victorious, followed by Xu and Shin. The Russian team dominated the women's 4x200 meter relay, the Ukrainian team finished second, and the third was Italy. Direct finals took place in the women's 800 meter immersion where Liu took the top of the podium. Xu became the second and the German Pils the third. The 50 meter final started with surface swim swimming where Xu was awarded with the gold medal, the silver medal went to Liang and the bronze was given to Artyushenko. Simonova, Zabakishili, Fusco was the order in 50 meter Biffin. Spectators were hoping for a new world record in the 1500 meter. Liu satisfied the expectations and the 14th world record was born. The Ukrainians, Trofimets and Godovana were the second and the third. There's a question before the men's 200 meter surface fin swimming. Can Fijini swim another world record? The Italian star answered that question in the pool with a strong yes, producing the 15th world record of the championship. Fumarola and Laucius were the second and the third. I'm an athlete, I do every passage of my life, of my, every year I, I improve uh, every result, every race. In uh, World Games uh, in, uh, 20, in, in 20 and 13 uh, in Cali, uh, I, 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 I try, I try the 200 and 400, it's the next, uh, next event, maybe the last, <laughs> I don't know. 
Ivanets became the best in 200 meter Biffin, and for an extra, he has set up his second world record, 16th in a row, at the 16th Finn Swimming World Championship, just to please the oldest viewers who followed events through the CMAS website real time online transmission in 87 countries. Gavrilov and Yatsenko were the second and the third. The two four times 100 meter relay brought tremendous excitement. The final order in the women's event was China, Russia, and Ukraine. At the men's event, Russia won yet with another, the 17th world record, followed by the great Italian and Greek teams. The closing goulash party was a memorable closing of the five day pool competition. The disco and party of about 800 athletes, volunteers, judges, organizers, and youngsters from all over the town lasted into the early hours of the next day without the slightest disturbancy. The latter leaving another memorable piece of mass sportsmanship and high standards of self control and conduct. The road championship didn't end, of course, with the Giga Party, just the place has changed and some participants. The long distance races were organized at Moch Air, an offshoot of the Tissa River, in the waters of the Canoe Sprint World Championship. The long distance race started with the 4 times 3000 meter relay. In the women's event, the Russian team could take the top of the podium, the second was the Ukrainian team, and the German team finished in the third place. At the men's event, the Russian team was successful as well. The Italian team had the silver and the German had the bronze medal. On the following day, the competitors had to swim the 6000 meters distance. Roman Malichin from Russia was the first who reached the finish line. The second one was also a Russian athlete, Alexei Shafigulin, and the third one was David Decea from Italy. It's very good to feel that I'm a world champion after so much work. I was able to swim the same time in each lap. That's because I train two or three times a day. I know perfectly when I'm inside my time, which I was named the competition, and it wasn't very difficult to achieve this time. After so much training, I came here to take the gold medal, and that's why I was traveling such a long way, to get the first place in the world championship. I like Hungary, this is the third time I came here. I traveled a lot, because I'm from the heart of Siberia, where is it now already cold. I think in the future, more long distance swimmers will appear, more countries going to participate, and it won't be easy to defend my title. I want to swim even longer distances, which are more interesting, and I hope that the fight in the water will be bigger and tougher. The ladies couldn't break the Russian hegemony either. Marina Umerenko stood on the top of the podium, Ukrainian Yana Trofimets got the silver, and Russian Elena Osmoskaya won the bronze medal. It's quite hard. You have two or three trainings a day, 6 to 12 kilometers per day, and it's a hard job to prepare yourself for the 6 kilometers. I am the world champ, but I wouldn't like to stop here, so I would be going on and training, and maybe to become again world champion in other subjects as well. Of course, 6,000 I would to try again. I would go to the 3,000. I am going to try myself in one and a half kilometers, and also in the relay. The water was a bit cold, and the visibility was also a bit bad, but otherwise it was all right. <laughs> The last day of the championship brought the longest and hardest discipline, the 20 kilometer swimming. Marina Voronia was the first lady to finish with a time of 3 hours, 17 minutes, 40.38 seconds. She was followed by Sofia Arendkova and Tatiana Kransago. In the men's race on the same distance, Christoph Oefner with a time of 3 hours, 5 minutes, 57.33 seconds took the gold. Simon Maleni was the second and Christian Huerea was the third. It was very tough. But uh, it was the first time I ever swim uh, this 20 kilometers. So my first aim was to finish this race and yeah, I'm very happy. I think uh, after the pool races I was very tired and in the past I, I did a lot of cycle training over three hours so that I um, trained for this distance. The first hour was only swim, swim, swim. And then you you have something to drink, and behind is your opponent, and you feel like a rabbit. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was uh, very tough. 
The president of Kmas, Akhila Ferraro, informed the press about Kmas's satisfaction with the World Championship, its results and its organization. He declared that from now on, this championship should serve as the ethylon of any future Kmas competition. The World Championship ended with a heartwarming closing ceremony. È un'opinione estremamente positiva. Sappiamo le difficoltà dell'inizio. We know the surroundings, the possibilities and the difficulties. We know that a very short time was available, only five and a half months, to organize the World Championship. But it came as a pleasant surprise that despite the odds, everything was in its place, everything was all right, so we are after an excellent World Championship. The results are talking for themselves. There were 17 world records broken, but these records didn't simply happen. They came about through numerous heats and finals, including two new world records set simultaneously at the same time. There were athletes who broke two previous world records. By now, at the end of the competitions, it looks that way that this world championship will get to the history of Kmas as one of the most successful and most competitive world championships of all times. Christmas stop, but you know.